September 11th, 2001 happened during my senior year of high school. That was Chris Newsom's call to action, enlisting in the U.S. Army after graduating from Anderson High School. There's a lot of growing to do, and the Army really forces you down a, a pipeline of growth and, and leadership and maturity. He served in Afghanistan in 2003 and in Iraq twice in 2004 and in 2005 through 2006. I felt like a, like a fish out of water to an extent. Chris was struggling with the transition from soldier to civilian. When you take off the uniform for the last time, these are the realities. Working odd jobs and feeling like he lost his purpose. A handful of months prior to that, I was leading patrols in Iraq. And to go from that to what I considered at that time to be kind of a professional step backwards. Then he would find Recruit Military, a recruiting firm that helps veterans find careers after life in the military. It helps veterans not only find work that's best for them, but helps them with building resumes and interviewing for that job. Our community is very proud. You know, they're not always going to lead by saying, I need help. Chris told me some veterans struggle to articulate their military skills into everyday lingo on a resume. For example, Chris was in the United States Army and part of 11 Bravo. Now, for the average person, that translates to infantry soldier. He said making those minor changes can make all the difference. We have all of these great skill sets and these great attributes, but, you know, again, it's, it is on us to be able to vocalize those. Chris's new mission, helping veterans realize they've had it in them all along. Part of what we have to do as veterans, as a community, to honor the fallen is to live our best lives. And to never sell themselves short. Don't go out there and just get some random job. Get a career, you know, be, be the most awesome version of yourself that you can possibly be. Brett Pagansky, WCPO 9 News.